Chicken here, bringing you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be taking on Gearhard War Factory, and I think we're going to be using Everspark to kind of clear some stuff out. I haven't actually looked at the base yet, but first, but first, I want to show you guys this. This was kind of a weird, um, I don't know if it was a glitch or if it's just how Brick works. Um, it's at the end of the attack, so just for the uh, beginning here, I, I was trying out this Rhythman Medic thing. I know it's terrible, but I, I don't know. I just wanted to switch it up a bit. Uh, we got the commenter of the day up in the chicken banner. They're just disappearing over here now. Um, we have Marty and Nixon X. Uh, so big shout out to those two guys. They were both pretty good comments, so I felt like throwing two up there uh, for today. Nixon was saying, uh, basically, uh, talking about my video yesterday where I was talking about the shortage of gold. And he was saying that uh, most maxed out players are um, kind of a, like not enjoying the update as much because it didn't really give us uh, something to use our resources with. Um, and, and more stuff about that. Uh, it, was, it was pretty good. So big shout out to, uh, to Nixon there. So you see that flare there. Um, I flare back, uh, and then they go forward. But watch this, guys. Watch this. Like, has this ever happened to you? Let me know down in the comments. Like, is this a normal thing, or is it kind of strange here? You see, <clears throat> she's going back and forth, back and forth, and then she runs all the way back to that flare, like, after it was already set. Like, I don't understand how that works. Like, if she was trying to target the building or something, like, um, obviously I would have lost anyways, but I mean, I just thought it was really strange. And that guy had three Doomkins, so that was kind of terrifying. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and push all the stupid wrong buttons, and let's just take a little hashtag chicken scout here, and see what we have in store for War Factory today. My goodness, guys, my goodness. Um, okay, okay, so how many of these rockets are going to be in range? Not really these medium ones, if we, if we can get back here with the Zookas, um... I'm thinking with one Everspark attack, we can probably take out those three rocket launchers. So let's go ahead and uh, and get the Universal Remote up and going. Um, this is going to be great because this is going to save us some GB on the GB only attacks that we need. Alright, so we got uh, Everspark, we got the remote there. So let's go ahead and try to take out those three rocket launchers just using Everspark herself, guys. This is going to be uh, very interesting if this does work. Okay, so we'll get, uh, we'll lose all the delay right there. And then we'll get her going up, up that hill. She's taking her time. Must be a pretty steep hill that she's walking on. Um, all right, so we'll use the remote, and that's exactly where we want uh, the first one to go. Um, so we, we want to take, we want to try to take out this this whole top line of rocket launchers here with Everspark, if that's going to be possible. Okay, so that's that one's hacked and taken out, please. Okay, so that's the next one. And all right, so there's the first rocket down. That cost quite a bit of GBE, but I don't think it was that terrible. Okay, so now we got the second one hacked up. You see the grapplers actually fire at it, which is pretty funny. I don't know if they actually do a little bit of damage or not, or how that works, but um, okay, so she's gonna stay way back there. Okay, so that one's hacked. So that's three rocket launchers down, guys. This is awesome. Um, I think I'm actually gonna take out this laser next, just to make the walk a little easier. And she's just gonna go ahead and die after that, which is fine. Um, so when you're hacking the defenses, you have to make sure. Oops, we took down that rocket launcher instead. Um, so when you're hacking the defenses, you have to make sure that there's like defenses around it that are actually gonna be capable of taking it out. Uh, otherwise, it's just a waste. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and retreat just to save some uh, save some gold and some diamonds. I don't have any gold right now. Um, okay, all right. So let's go ahead and do that exact same thing again. So we were able to take out. Um, those two rock launchers, which is pretty huge. So if we can go up to the top here now, I think this is actually going to work out a lot better. It's just going to be getting Everspark there is going to be a little tricky. So let's go ahead and go after these shock launchers next. Um, okay, so we'll flare up like this. This works great, guys. This is just like a fun way of doing the GBE attacks. Um, okay, so we'll get Everspark up here. I want to take down both of these shock launchers, and I think that's going to be a pretty good second attack. Um... Okay, so we'll use the universal remote thing, and we'll do this. So we'll get the first shock launcher down, and then retarget the second one. Then maybe we'll move over to these mortars. So basically, as soon as the smoke is up, is basically when you want to uh, put the next one down. Like, it really doesn't take that long. Okay, so we'll flare on this. We'll hit the uh, universal thing. So you see right here, the smoke's almost up, and bam. I'm almost pre-smoking the second smoke. And since uh, she's in such a... 
uh, since she's in the corner where the shock launcher is, I'm actually able to basically <clears throat> um, use the shock launcher as a shield, so it doesn't have to be that perfect, your timing. Also, I moved over way too uh, way too close to this. That was a waste of GBE. Um, I did not need to do that because she can stand, like, I think it's almost two spots back of the smoke. I'm just going to let her die here because there's no reason to... Uh, uh, to keep her alive past this point. I probably would have been better off um, taking down the hot pot there because I can't GBE the hot pot. So maybe we'll do that next, guys. Um, and then I'll do like... Okay, so next, next I think we'll take out the hot pot and then we'll just use all the extra GBE on the mortars. I think that's going to be a really good way to do things. And then I want to leave myself at least two attacks to use the Zooka. So let's go ahead and, uh, and try that out, guys. See how that's going to work for us. Um, I wanted to take that laser down, but I mean... That's not necessary, it's just going to make the walk a little easier. So we'll go up here like this. Um, I'm going to get nice and close just so, just to make it a little easier, I guess. Plus I have the extra GB, so it's not really a big deal. Um, we'll go right up like that, and then I'm just going to flare onto the hot pot. And, oops. Okay, so I screwed that up pretty nicely. Let's go ahead and just use all the artillery. Maybe we can take it down. Okay, so that was uh, that was that was a pretty good fail on that one, guys. Um, hmm, <laughs> not really sure how to come back from that. Uh, we got we got two attacks left here. Hmm, chicken, because that was a complete waste. Because I can't even use one artillery in the hot pot now, unless I want to go ahead and use critters on it. Um, let's go ahead and get Sergeant Brick up with the Zookas. We'll do this. We'll get the battle orders going. And we'll see, we'll see, we'll just see what we can get done here. We'll see what we can get done, guys. Um, it's going to be a little tricky because of the, uh, <clears throat> because of, uh, the laser I left on the beach, unfortunately. But I don't think it's, it should be, uh, I don't think it should be that bad. Um, I shouldn't have flared down there. That was already a mistake, chicken. Um, I should have just locked onto those crates. That's going to be a much easier landing. Um, we'll go like this next. I'm just going to try to stay out of the lasers here. We're going to lose all the zookas at the back, but that's okay. Uh, this is why we save two attacks, guys. This is why we save two attacks. Okay. Um, so we'll get up. Where do we want to go here? I got Brick with us, which is going to help. So I'll go up right about here. I do want to stay out of range of uh, some of the some of the um, the rock launch there. They're going to be pretty close to the to when they stand on the HQ. So we can go ahead and get rid of that hot pot now, and then we'll go ahead. Oh, frig sakes! Frig sakes! I missed the stupid thing. Um, so we're locked onto the core. And I hit the battle orders. Uh, hopefully we can get the hot pot here. We're not gonna we're not gonna finish it for sure, but uh, we were able to get that hot pot down. Uh, probably should have shocked it, but I mean, it's, it's up for debate, right? Uh, hot pot versus zookas. What's the what's the better choice? Sometimes it's better to leave the to leave the zookas directly in front of the hot pot to get roasted. Um, just to um, just uh, for the sake of. Not sure where we're going with that one. We got uh, 120k left on the HQ. So let's just go ahead and finish this off. We'll waste all the diamonds on this gold that we need. And let's do the landing properly this time. So I'm going to go ahead and smoke like this. One, two, and then we're going to launch them all out like that. Uh, brick might get lasered, but that's okay. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and... I'm going to spend a little extra GBE just getting the landing perfect because we really don't have to worry about much other than that. Um, once we get there, we should be fine. Uh, okay, the laser is just saying hello. Hello, Mr. Laser. That's okay. Okay, so we're walking on up. Walking on up with the Zookas and Brick in tow. Uh, we don't have to worry about the hot pot. We basically just need one shot here, and uh, we should be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and double smoke. Once the Zookas get nice and close, then we're going to go ahead and flare onto the HQ. Um... Okay, so as long as there's nothing too crazy that happens here, we should be fine. Uh, Brick, what was that? Uh, let's go ahead, just spam the melt kit. The, the spam the melt kits, and there we go, guys. There's War Factory. Probably a lot easier ways to do it, but uh, so, some of those Everspark things, maybe that wasn't the best stuff to take out. <clears throat> I think that's going to be um, like probably the new way to take on War Factory is using Everspark instead of the GBE hits. Um, Maybe that one at the end when I took her, to, uh, like, it's probably, when, when you, those four mortars, I probably would have been better just to GBE them, because it's going to cost us GBE than to individually hack each one, so, something like that, guys, something like that is the, uh, is the idea, so let, make sure to let me know down in the comments, guys, how you made out of War Factory today, did you use some, uh, some new hero strategy, if so, let me know, 
down in the comments. That's going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you find it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Chicken out. It's a quick reminder, guys. If you visit patreon.com backslash the chicken for $1 a month, you can get your name in the chicken banner for the duration of the month. And for $2 a month, you become a super chicken, and you can get your name in the banner. Plus, uh, you get to write your own personal message.